93 boxing back with another video Deontay Wilder recently in his press conference was talking about people not supporting him their own people not supporting him um, he said if he was from the UK he would be the the biggest guy that like the next best thing when he said our own people don't support us support me rather I'm paraphrasing what he said, but he basically means that his country, he could mean his own people like black people, because Deontay Wilder is black, African-American. And I personally think, yeah, I do, I do think that's the case. American fans don't really support their fighters like UK fans do. There are exceptions of certain fighters that don't get enough support in here. You know, Kelbrook gets support no matter what. A lot of matchroom fighters get support pretty much no matter what. David Hay seems to not. Amir Khan seems to not. I mean, Amir Khan, they both did some shit that they shouldn't have done in their career. But, you know, Kelbrook can do shit that he shouldn't have done. He gets away with it. Tyson Fury doesn't get the support. I mean, you, know, you could say that he brought some of it to, to himself. But, you know, I want to give my overall thoughts in terms of what like you know is he right to say that that it's only because he's american i think partly because keep in mind right i do think the Wilder would be a huge star if he's in the in here in the uk i think i mean especially with eddie hearn or even frank warren and the fans they be rooting for the uk fighters and it's kind of very unpatriotic if we don't almost you know I'd be rooting for my UK fighters in the old times, especially if they're out there fighting someone else in another country. But, you know, even here, we'll be rooting for our UK fighters. No matter how overmatched, like, you know, how, you know, how lack of chance that he may have against his opponent. But, you know, at the same time, I feel like, keep in mind, I, I do understand that Deontay Wilder, um, had some unlucky moments where he was trying to fight Provetkin and um, drug test. You, you already know what happened. You know, he Provetkin failed the drug test and therefore the fight didn't get made. Now he's going to fight Luis Ortiz, who I think is a dangerous fight. You know, it's a dangerous fight for Deontay Wilder. It's a dangerous fight for anyone, especially anyone real tall. And uh, that doesn't have a good inside game. And Joshua might be okay with Luis Ortiz at times because Joshua is a bit more... I guess he's a bit more fundamentally sound. Wilder is a bit more relaxed, which will help him. But, you know, they both have a really bad inside game. Especially Wilder. Like, I don't know if about his inside game. But either way, right? I'm going off topic here. Let me go back into it. I do understand Deontay Wilder did have moments where he should have... He could have fought some good competition. But it was unfortunate that he didn't get a chance because of unfortunate events. But, you know, you have to keep in mind, right? Some of the lack of support is because you haven't fought top competition. You have 38 fights. This guy has 38 fights. Joshua has 19 fights. That's half. And yet, Joshua has fought... I mean, he fought Charles Martin, who's a former world champion. But more importantly, he fought Vladimir Klitschko. Deontay Wilder hasn't fought really too many good oppositions. And don't get me wrong. I think Deontay Wilder is a fantastic fighter. He might beat Joshua. I'm I'm a UK um, boxing fan, and I'm saying this. He might beat Joshua. Joshua might beat him as well. Different days, I feel like different fighters gonna win. Some days I feel like Wilder was gonna win. Some feel like some days I feel like Joshua's gonna win. Um, you know, it really depends. But at the same time, you can't really blame other people, considering that at the end of the day, yeah, I understand that. If you're in the UK, you get a lot more love because Kel Brook fought bums most of his career. He was getting more love. He was getting a lot of love. Like, even before he fought Sean Porter, even before he fought Senchenko, I mean, he was getting... I mean, actually, not maybe before Senchenko, but even before Sean Porter, the, the Sean Porter fight, right? American was getting more hate than Kel Brook and American fought better competition. I think Deontay Wilder would be able to get away with a lot of things fighting bums in the UK than he is in the States. 
but at the same time, now that you're in the States, you need to fight better competition. And you are, you know, I give you credit for it. Provetkin, again, I give you credit for that. Because it's not your fault. But at the end of the day, you're in the States and you haven't fought top competition. You have 38 fights. 38 fights. So, in, you know, to a certain extent, people will show some hate, you know. People will. And I, I do understand one thing, though, because Deontay Wilder could be marketed as this. The next best thing. Because, you know, a lot of fighters get marketed as the next best thing. Even in the States. Um, Lomachenko only has 10 fights. I know he fought better competition, though, overall. Um, possibly, I would say maybe. For the amount of fights that he had, he fought better competition. Triple G. I mean, Triple G, in my opinion, has fought better competition even before the Canelo, even before the Jacobs fight compared to Wilder. Uh, Triple G is... Um, he fought David Lemieux, who's a decent fighter. Um, Curtis Stevens. He fought him, right? Yeah, he's a good fighter. He fought some decent B-level, C-level fighters. Deontay fought Wilder for a lot of C-level fighters. A lot. But, you know, Triple G got hyped more than he... Should have like he he kind of was overhyped, you know. But the people did push Triple G as this next best thing, and you know in America they did that. But again, Deont you know Deontay Wilder's point was, American fighters don't get the praise they deserve in America, and he did say black fighters don't, which is true, and I agree with that though. Like Andre Ward is a clay a clear example. This guy was pushed to 175 to fight Sergey Kovalev because they wanted to see Andrew Ward fall off. And it's such an inspirational story for Andrew Ward to go out and knock the shit out of Sergey Kovalev. I was so happy, man. I ate so good watching that. Like, you've no idea how many times I've replayed that shit and ate food. It was sensational. You know, you just have a good time. You're eating. You're having fun. Man, Ward versus Kovalev was good fun. The second one especially. But, yeah, I do agree with Deontay Wilder. But at the same time, I feel like certain, some of the things that Deontay Wilder gets blamed for is because of his own thing. Keep in mind, Triple G didn't fight too many good competitions. He still got more hype than he should have. But again, at the same time, Deontay Wilder is not getting the hype that he could. I mean, keep in mind, this is a heavyweight guy, six foot seven. This, this guy has a story behind it, right? I mean, I don't know, he started boxing quite late. Yeah, he's still got a bronze. The last American to win a gold, sorry, a medal in the, um, the Olympics when it comes to boxing. He is, uh, I mean, he has a daughter who's got uh, some sort of condition. I don't know what it's called, spine something. And, you know, it's inspirational what he did. And keep in mind, you know, I'm not trying to bring racing to race or anything into it but with that you know he's at the end of the day he's a six foot seven african-american man there's been a lot of great black uh men in the sport of boxing especially in the heavyweight divisions if anything the best heavyweight boxers most of them are you know that you can remember of are black even as you know earliest muhammad ali mike tyson lennox lewis george foreman joe fraser i mean i'm just i just name only some uh, on top of my head there's a, there's loads of more lennox lewis uh, lennox lewis is one of my favorites right deontay wilder this six foot seven guy who's got who he's got a little charisma to it i mean joshua's got his own little charisma to it as well you know so you know this guy can get promoted this guy can definitely get promoted and um but for some reason they're not. And it's because it is only because of um the fact that he's black, to be honest. Partly, as I said, you know, his resume does have something to do with it, but it's mainly it's because he's American and he's black, and that's the honest truth. That's the honest truth. He has to promote himself. When Floyd Mayweather he became the biggest in the sport of boxing in terms of revenue generator, he made himself big. There was an interview when um you know, he said he'll be big, he'll be bigger if he was white, the biggest name, and you know the the interviewer said you're already big. You're the and he goes, I made myself big. That's key, man. If you're white and you're doing well in the sport of boxing, you get promoted heavy. If I mean, at least if you're not black, if you are black, 
you don't really get promoted like that by by the media. You don't. You know, you don't. You have to do something extra. And I feel like Deontay Wilder has to do some extra, extra shit. He's got a charisma to it. He has to use that to his full advantage, get a name. Whether he gets knocked out against Joshua or beats him, it doesn't matter. Go build yourself a name. And somehow, you know, use the Floyd... I don't think it's... I was going to say use the Floyd Mayer with the uh, tactics of making yourself big and everything. But the thing is, Floyd Mayer would have backed it up. Can Deontay Wilder back it up? That's also another question. But he has to make his name bigger. There's no way he's going to get just a big name through relying on the media. That's nonsense, man. That's nonsense. He has to do some shit about it. Him... I can't imagine him winning, beating Joshua would even give him a huge name like that. To be honest, he'll, he'll make his name bigger. But I can't imagine, to be honest, getting a huge name because you're the heavyweight division. You're the heavyweight champion of the world. I'm really tired, as usual, when I make these videos. So I'm fucking up a little bit, but it doesn't matter. You get my point. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's reasonable what he's saying? Or do you think it's outlandish? He's just making excuses. 93 boxing, I'm out.